Good morning, everyone. This is your boy, Rome. Today's video is going to be on how I've set up the GoPro on my helmet for motoblogging. <clears throat> Many of you, if you're using a GoPro or you're thinking about using a GoPro as your blogging camera, the problem that you have with the GoPros is that there is no input for a microphone like some of the older uh, versions. I think all the way back to maybe the GoPro Hero 3 and 4, possibly. But the newer versions only have a USB-C connector that goes into the side of the uh, camera itself. The problem with that is it's almost impossible to find a microphone that would work and be able to transfer your, your audio to the camera. So the result, the solution is from GoPro, you have to buy this huge brick that you have to find some way to attach to some type of rigging. And then you have, as you see here, the microphone would plug in on one side and then the other arm would then plug into the GoPro to allow the audio to, to pass through. Well, as you can see here, I have this duct taped on and it's just, it's just a mess. So I was looking for a cleaner solution that would allow me to uh, incorporate all of these pieces together and get one cohesive uh, unit that I didn't have to worry about when I'm running around. So what I found, originally the first thing I looked at was one of these type of cases. And this is metal and the GoPro slides in. It has a little device that you can tighten it down so that your GoPro won't come out. Things like that. It has a removable UV filter or you can also attach other um, types of filters to this if you wanted to. It has a cold shoe at the top <clears throat> and it already has you know the mounting piece down here at the bottom where you can connect your GoPro. Uh, any of your standard GoPro mounts will work with this. But the problem is it literally is just the same thing. It's just a better quality version or more durable version of what comes with GoPro. So that doesn't fix the problem that I was having. So a couple days ago, I was looking around online and I found this product. And I'm, I know I'm gonna slaughter this name, but I think it's Ulancy, Lancy, Ulancy, something like that. Anyway, you can find this product on Amazon for about $15. Uh, it's for, it says a blogging case for GoPro, compatible with GoPro Hero 5, 6, and 7. Be advised, there isn't a new GoPro coming out very soon. It's going to be the GoPro Hero 8, but I think it's going to come with its own type of housing and some other cool features. I'll talk about that in another video. But it's a very simple box. As you see, it's made in China. So let's take a look at what comes in the box really quick. So as you see, there's no instructions, but you probably wouldn't need any. And here's our case. It has a pre-mounted cold shoe. This is plastic, different than the metal one that I had here, but it feels much lighter, obviously, because it's plastic. But the advantage to this type of case is that you see this little area here below, that will allow the module to fit inside of it and then you would be able to connect the GoPro right inside. So let me take the GoPro off of my helmet and I'll show you how I will assemble this. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back guys. I don't want you guys to have to sit through watching me have to fight to get all of that duct tape off. But as you can see here now, the GoPro is freely swinging. Let's just take this off. and one bolt and you can see the difference in the size of the case in comparison so it's just a little bit larger so it should fit right about the same on the helmet now the difference is with the traditional GoPro case you have this little flip up and you have to pop it out 
and then you just close this back, locks it in place. Anyone with the GoPro, you know exactly what this is. This one, on the other hand, is a little bit different. So it has a back door to the case, and there's a little tab here off to the side. You just press this tab down, and then the door slides out like so. Then you would take your GoPro, then it should just fit in just like that. Then the door itself, if everything goes in properly, should just slide right in place. So now your GoPro is locked in. You can see where the lens here comes up. Here's where your door's already been removed and that's where you're going to connect to your module and the back is, you know, secured. And there's no way for this to fall out. And I mean, if you've seen one of my old videos, you know I did have an issue with one of my GoPros actually falling off of the M109. So here is the microphone module. So the only thing you have to do there is slide this through and you gotta fight it through there. See if there's an easier way to get it to go in. It does not wanna go in there. And this doesn't detach, so you have to just probably just bend it and then squeeze it through. There we go. And then decide which side you want this to be on. Pop that in all the way. And now as you see, it's secure. And then this then plugs in upside down. The USB is now attached to your GoPro. And here's your microphone module right here. So as you see how I have my lead plug for my microphone, it's just kind of right now dangling off the side of my um, helmet. But this would just plug in right here. And now my microphone is then again reconnected to my GoPro. So to reattach this, this should just fit in here. And then you take your remaining screw, have to line this up pretty good. Uh, let's get it. Just get it. There we go. Line that up, screw it in. And that's about right. Now, you may have to adjust this. You may have to remove some pieces, which I may have to do, you know, to get it exactly where I want it. I notice when I'm on the Busa sport bike, because of the riding position, this needs to be pushed more further back, you know, toward the helmet this way. You know, so it's, you want it to have it back this way because you're in a riding position like this. But when I'm on the cruiser, it's just the opposite. I want it a little bit forward, probably not quite that much, but just a little bit forward you know, so that, you know, in my riding position, the horizon will be level um, on the video. But anyway, guys, like I said, I just want to do a really quick video to show you guys what I was doing to upgrade the audio and the cave system for my GoPro Hero. This is a Hero 5, by the way. Um, I never upgraded to the Hero 6 nor 7 because, you know, the video quality is pretty much about the same. I edit in Final Cut on my computer once I get the footage off of the GoPro. So I'm really not that worried about, you know, image quality or losing image quality. I can shoot in 2K or 4K or even all the way down to 1080 and you still get a really, really good result. So that's it. If you guys have any questions about this case or you're a blogger and you're thinking about, you know, putting together something like this, you know, for kind of a running gun type of scenario, it'll work perfectly because then you can just attach, you know, your microphone up here. Then you would plug it in here and you're good to go. All right, guys, I want everybody to have a blessed day. And this is your boy, Rome. I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on them too. Peace. I'm out.